Hello, I'm Lorraine Herring, your professor for psychology, um, and I wanted to um, talk you through how we're going to work with our um, Blackboard course shell, so we don't have to spend a lot of class time doing this. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to www.yc.edu and click the login button. Type in your username and password. and then wait. And you're going to get a screen that looks um, somewhat like this. It's not going to be quite like this because um, you don't have access to all the, the cool things that, that I get to do. Haha. <laughs> Um, so what you want to do, um, I, because I have two sections of Psych 101, I've merged them together um, in the Blackboard environment just for ease of use. So um, if you're used to accessing your courses here under My Courses, you may not see your course there. Um, but that's easy to fix. You just want to go to the B. So make sure you go um, find our course here under B for Blackboard. And then you're going to see um, your courses showing up. And um, you want to look for the one that says um, Psych 101. And even if this is not your CRN number, your course number, you're still in here because I've put all the sections together into one shell. Um, so go ahead and click here. And then you'll see the course open up. Announcements always pop up first. Um, this is um, this video. Um, our course policies, please note that no late work is accepted. This does apply to every single student. Um, regardless of what's going on. You have plenty of time in the course to do the work. Um, there is no extra credit, um, no early exams, and incomplete grades will not be given. Um, okay, so you'll see over here a whole bunch of buttons, and um, this is where you're going to go for everything. Here, uh, click here to find the syllabus, and I am going to hand out a hard copy of this in class on Tuesday. Um, this is our course schedule. Um, which I'll also give you in class, but it's here if you lose it. Um, this is where you'll look to see where you currently stand in the course with your grades. Um, tools, this is where you can find, so I'll just click and show you, um, quick, uh, quick links to announcements, help, um, contact, send, send email, that sort of stuff, but you, you'll rarely need to go here. If you need help with Blackboard or anything else at the college, this is the button, YC Resources connects you to teaching and e-learning support. Okay. Um, here's how you contact me. Click email instructor. And it will say um, sent to everybody, um, sent to all students, um, sent to all instructors, which is just me. So you would click here. And see, there I am. And you would send me a note that will be um, full of information and super friendly. I love that. Um, okay, so the first thing that you're going to be responsible for actually doing in Blackboard is a syllabus quiz. And the syllabus quiz is due um, by midnight Sunday of the first week of school. Um, you're going to click here on the syllabus quiz button and then click here to access the quiz. Now it says it's not available right now because I'm recording this video before school starts. Um, but this will be available to you. It's 10 questions. You have two opportunities to do the quiz. Um, the highest grade counts. You'll also be doing homework quizzes pretty much weekly. Sometimes there's two per week depending on the reading that we're doing. And you'll access these here. We'll be doing vocabulary quizzes in class um, about once a week, sort of depending on where we are. The vocab words will come directly off of the vocab list that is here. And I will um, give you a hard copy of this as well. But in case you lose it, um, there it is. All these fun words. Um, you'll be watching a unit on research methods. We don't have um, enough class time to cover everything in class, so you'll be responsible for some things outside of class. This button for research methods connects you to um, two lectures from Dr. Nicole Wilson, who teaches psychology here, that she's recorded on the scientific method and research methods. Um, our book does not have a very good chapter on this, um, but Nicole's lecture and her handouts are pretty awesome, and you'll be able to, um, to get a lot out of it. And there is a homework quiz on this as well. Um, we're going to be beginning with um, a section on creativity in the brain to kind of just jumpstart us in something a little fun. Um, and so the reading assignment for that, it's also not in the book. You'll find it under the creativity in the brain button. 
and click right here and there's a PDF of the reading. Um, I also upload um, all of the PowerPoint slides that we use in class, um, so you'll find those here um, as well for the creativity unit. Later on in the semester, we're also going to be doing a unit that's not in our textbook on death and dying. Click the death and dying button here. You'll see the required reading is here. This is a chapter out of a different textbook. Um, slides that we'll be going over in class, and then additional links that might be um, of use for you. Um, okay, and so then we have the class basically broken apart into three units, unit one, unit two, and unit three. Unit one we're starting with, and this has everything. This also does have um, the research methods um, information here just one more time from Nicole, but you'll see all of the slides, and I'm sorry these don't go in order, one, two, three, four, five, but no matter what I did, they didn't seem to want to go in any sort of order. But these are all of the slides for the units that will be represented on the Unit 1 exam. Um, these are handouts from class. I will hand out actual copies, but you may um, lose them or want another one to practice. Um, sometimes we don't get to things um, due to the short uh, class period, and um, so know that the resources are always here in, in the course for you. Um, so same thing with Unit 2. These are all the lecture slides from Unit 2, Chapter 6, 7, 8, 9, and 11, and then the handouts here. So these are the things that will be covered on exam number 2. And then exam number 3, the slides for Chapter 13, 15, and the Death and Dying Unit, and the handouts for Unit 3. Um, this course has one paper assignment. Um, it is due in November. It's under the Solution Exploration button. Um, I will be going over this in class. Um, after about a month into the semester, we'll be spending a whole day talking about this, but I did want to give you a heads up. Everything that you need for the paper is here living under the Solution Exploration button. This is a video on how to attach a file to the assignment link. This is where you'll go to submit the paper. See, so click me, click me, click me. Um, here's the handout, um, a worksheet help, and the assessment rubric, so how the paper is going to be graded. Um, but I will be taking an entire class period to go over this and give you a chance to get started on it. Um, but I did want to just alert you that it's there. Um, journal workbook, um, sometimes I do activities out of this. Um, it all kind of depends on how it goes, but this is where it lives, right here under journal workbook. And then these are a bunch of different video links and things. So TED Talks, we'll be watching a bunch of these over the semester. Um, and so if you ever want to go back and um, watch something again, um, all the TED Talks for the whole semester are here. Um, at Hidden Brain, this is a segment on NPR. Um, uh, sociologist Shankar Vedantam um, is on once a week uh, talking about the social sciences and um, contemporary culture. So sometimes there's um, some interesting things that I think are relevant to the content for our course. Um, and we'll listen to them in class, and um, they're also all posted here. Um, fun videos. Um, these are um, the Stanford Prison Experiment, right? Big fun. Um, the Milgram Obedience Experiment, we're going to be watching those. Um, some clips from The Office, um, from um, Big Bang Theory, to talk about uh, some of the concepts, especially in the beginning part of the semester. Um, they're all here under the fun video links. And then the cool things for you. Um, so as things appear in, um, let's say, the New York Times or um, the news, different places that I think are relevant to um, your lives, are relevant to our content, I'll post them here. And I'll send you um, an email that there's something new there in case you're interested to go and take a look. Okay. So that's Blackboard in a nutshell. You can see that it's a little bit different. If you were a student here in the fall, they have um, changed things up a little bit. Um, but it's the same essential idea, so it just looks a little bit different. Um, one thing is um, there were some glitches with the copying of courses. Um, I have gone through and I have checked every link, but that doesn't mean I didn't make a mistake or that something might not have flipped out later. So if you find that you cannot open something or um, a link isn't popping up, um, please send me an email and um, I will take a look at it and see if it's something on my end or if it's something to do with your computer. Um, if you need technical assistance, um, you can call the help desk at the school or email tells, T-E-L-S, at yc dot edu. Um, and I believe that is it for our Blackboard course. Yay! Um, I'll spend a little bit of time on this in class next week, but mostly um, 
you know, come back and refer to this video if you find that you're um, a little bit stuck. Okay, thank you very much. Can't wait to meet you guys.